Hi guys, we're Dan and Michelle with Honeymoon Always. We are coming to you from our apartment in Lisbon, Portugal. We are full-time travel bloggers and we recently returned from our first leg of the Ultimate Caribbean Honeymoon Tour, where we spent a lot of time in both Jamaica and the Bahamas, traveling and seeing all sorts of all-inclusive resorts and romantic destinations. And we got to see all of the existing sandals resorts in Jamaica. So we thought we would make a video for you comparing all the best ones and all of their best traits so you can pick which sandals resort in Jamaica is best for you. We have videos on every single resort in Jamaica, so we'll leave links to those videos in the description below if you wanna check those out. We also have links to contact us if you want help booking your sandals vacation, and we have links to the best deals at sandals, and by clicking those links, it really helps support our channel, so thanks. So if you ask anyone what the best sandals resort in Jamaica is, you're gonna get a ton of different answers. In fact, like while we were traveling, we'd ask people like their opinions because they've been to multiple resorts. Everyone had a different opinion. So we are gonna share our opinions at the end of the video, but first we're gonna break it down by category to tell you what's the best resort based on what you might be looking for. And we'll start off with one of the most important things for me, which is food. So you might know that if there are two sandals resorts that are relatively close together, they oftentimes have free transfers from one to the other, which means you not only get access to the one resort that you're staying at, but the other resort that's nearby as well. And that informs our first answer. We think that the best food can be found at Sandals Montego Bay or Sandals Royal Caribbean because you can have access to both if you stay at either. Between the two resorts, there are 21 restaurants you get to choose from, and it had, they had some of our favorite food. So on the private island in Royal Caribbean, they have a Thai restaurant, and personally for me, I love eating a bunch of different appetizers, and that is one of the places where they were really generous in like pushing us to try new things, and that was really great. And also at Royal Caribbean is an Indian restaurant. And then you can take a quick five minute shuttle to Montego Bay where they have Butch's steak and seafood. Um, they had one restaurant that was right on the water that we were there for dinner and they had a great sunset. And there's a soy, which we love for sushi. Um, so just overall a huge variety of restaurants that I mean, if you're staying there a week, you still may not try everything. The next category is rooms. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna approach this by saying what we thought were the coolest room types. And there is one resort that has multiple of our favorite room types. So you have a lot of options there. But obviously, kind of the iconic sandals room is an overwater bungalow. So if you can stay in an overwater bungalow, that's really awesome. You'll find those at Sandals South Coast and Sandals Royal Caribbean. But we know not everyone wants to splurge on an overwater bungalow at Sandals. But the next best, are the suites in the Runball Village at Sandals South Coast. They're like half the price. And honestly, I think I might prefer them more. I thought they were so cool. The outside kind of looks like little huts and they're these round rooms that have this private, beautiful water feature access. The art is really good. Like it's just, the vibe is really good. It's private. It has its own private, even like community pool area. We were just blown away by how unique it is, especially considering it's half the price of similar over the water bungalow suites. And our third best rooms are the swim up suites that are actually on the beach as well. So at Sandals Negril and Sandals Montego Bay, you have your room that is a swim up suite. And then right after the pool is the beach. And I think that's just like the perfect combo for you to have your beach time, have your time at your swim up suite. And there, I think all the swim up suites are all butler suites as well. So you're getting your butler service to take care of anything you might need. Um, so we're all just like perfect suites for like relaxing and having good time. Okay, the next category is best pools. Sandals Ochi is a giant resort, and that means that they have a bunch of different pools in different areas. And what I loved about Sandals Ochi pools the most is that they had some great pools that had swim up bars and restaurants right there. So I spent multiple days just laying by the pool, eating pizza, drinking Diet Coke, walking around in the water, like having the best time. So for me, the best pools are at Sandals Ochi. Yeah, and there's a big variety because there's like the biggest pool, which has more of a party vibe during the day. And then I know you found a more secluded one, but mm -hmm. still was lively with pizza. With pizza. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's even more quieter ones. And there's actually over a hundred pools at the resort because there are several pools that are semi-private shared amongst two to four suites. So our next category is most romantic sandals resort in Jamaica. And for me, that's Sandals Negril. This is for a couple of reasons. Number one, it is on the seven mile beach. And so it is really long. It's a really long resort. So the beach 
goes on for a long time, which means everyone gets a spot on the beach and the views are really beautiful. Most of the suites open up to the beach and it's gorgeous. But the main thing is that the sunsets are unreal. And so if you wanna have a romantic dinner, anywhere you go is gonna be romantic and beautiful. And I think just because it's so spread out, it felt more quiet and secluded. And I, yeah, I thought it was the most romantic. Do you agree? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you think would be the best for a destination wedding? So I would say Montego Bay because it has the overwater chapel, which has like the glass bottom floors that you can kind of see through and is really great for a tropical destination. But they also have an indoor chapel, which is more traditional and very beautiful as well, surrounded by like beautiful gardens. And they have a big bridal suite where everyone can get ready at. So that one's like perfect for weddings. Especially if you're looking for a little bit more of a traditional vibe, it can provide that for you with a bunch of different options. Yeah. But then there's Sandals South Coast, which is great because there's such a variety of rooms that it can be a little better if you have um, different budget range within your guests. So if someone wants to stay at a water bungalow, they can, or there's much more affordable rooms available. And the resort is very large. So <laughs> it gives room for large groups groups, but also if you want to have a little distance from some of your guests, then that's possible too. If you have some people you're avoiding at your destination wedding, yeah. <laughs> it's a good place to do it. Yeah. And then last I would say is Royal Plantation, mm -hmm. which is a totally unique thing because there's only like 74 rooms there. But when someone's getting married there, kind of the whole resort notices yeah. and like people will cheer for you and everyone hears your music like when you walk down the aisle. So it's kind of a, a unique feel that you might be interested in. Yeah, it's definitely more, I feel like it's a really sweet, memorable experience. And we talked to the most couples there of people who got married there or were a part of other people's wedding there who, you know, involved even the staff in their wedding because they felt that sense of community because it's such a small resort. Okay, how about the best resort for party vibes? Okay, so when we went to Montego Bay, there's it's a large resort, so there's like quiet areas, of course, but there was this one pool area where it was like, the biggest party of all the San Jose resorts we went to. This is the one with the rain? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have personally not been to such a bump and party before. So it was pouring down rain and the staff was so unbelievably talented at getting everybody involved and having a great time that we all stayed in the pool in the pouring rain and just like jammed out to the music and had a really fun time. Yeah, that was a good time. But the other one is Sandals Ochi because they do have one pool that always has a DJ going during the day. And so that's a good option as well if you want to like party. Um, I'm also just remembering that Sandals Negril is the one where the pools stay open like 24 hours a day and the DJ will stay there until midnight. Where some of the pools, it's some of the resorts close at like 5 or 6 p.m. So if you are a night owl, which we are not, Sandals Negril might be for you. Now the opposite side of that is for people looking for a really chill vacation. Yeah, and we think Sandals Royal Plantation is the spot for this. We've already mentioned that it is the smallest, like it's really intimate and it's also very chill because every suite is a butler suite. So the staff knows you really well. They know where you are. It's not that big. We just sat by the beach. They brought us snacks. They brought us drinks. We just laid by the pool or by the beach and did nothing. And yeah. it was like super chill. There was no bump and party music, which was preferable for us. Yeah. But if you want any of that, like let's say you're staying there a whole week and you're just getting bored, you can go to San Ochi. It's a five minute shuttle and you can go to a hop and party if yeah. you want. If you need a little bit of variety, but if you prefer quiet in general, that was our preference. Yeah. It is an all butler resort. So the price is a bit more. So if you want something that's quiet, but um, a little lower priced, then you can go to Sandals Negril, which we've talked about before is along a very long beach. So it's pretty spread out. So that's pretty chill as well. Mm -hmm. If you're the type of person who wants to stay active or do adventurous things while you are on vacation, we want to talk about the best sandals for adventure. So first you have the on resort activities and Sandals Negril has the most water sports. So like we went tubing. We did a water bike thing. Yeah. We and it was, we went during hurricane season, so it was a bit too rough to do um, like the water skiing or the kneeboarding, but that stuff is available when the weather's good, which I think is most of the time. So yeah, that is for on-site activities. Every Sandals has like night entertainment and like kayaks and things like that. Sandals and the Grill just had a bit more with water sports. 
that we appreciate. And if you're looking to go off resort to do some activities, I would recommend Sandals Ochi or Royal Plantation because they are located in Ocho Rios where there's a lot of activities. So you have the Blue Hole nearby, you have Dun River Falls and golfing is included, your green fees at least, which is a 15 minute drive. So if you wanna do a lot of things off resort and keep active, then Ocho Rios will keep getting covered there. We have a video on all the stuff that we did in Ocho Rios, so definitely check that out, including why we went mega viral in Jamaica. One of our videos is currently at about 30 million views between TikTok and Instagram, so don't miss that. We'll leave a link below. Okay, now we know that especially in the US, time off is very valuable and you wanna know how quickly you can get to the resort from the airport. So which resort is best if you wanna just hop off the airport and get into the water? So Montego Bay is the busiest airport that is close to a Sandals, which is super close to Sandals Montego Bay and Sandals Royal Caribbean. So Sandals Montego Bay is actually so close that some people don't like the flight noise. So keep that in mind. But then Sandals Royal Caribbean is still super close to the airport with a little less flight noise. And then last would be Ocho Rios. They actually have their own airport and the direct flights from Miami have picked up so you might be able to fly directly into there and be like super close to the airport. This is a good time to tell you what the worst drive from the airport is, which is Sandals South Coast. This I will describe as barfalicious. It was long and windy. You're sharing a road with livestock, potholes, pedestrians. It lasted for what, hour and a half, two hours, something like that. 10 years, I don't know, it made me sick. For me, that drive was, if, you, like, if you're motion sensitive at all, that one is a risk. So yeah. buyer beware. Yeah, take your Dramamine before you go. And if you're like us, where we're fairly sensitive to motion sickness, then maybe just avoid it. Yeah. So I mentioned this a little bit before, but in my opinion, the resort for best sunsets is Sandals Negril. It is a long stretch of beach and the sunsets are stunning and beautiful and so romantic. And it honestly is one of the most memorable Sandals resorts in Jamaica for me because of the sunsets, super stunning. You can also go to Rick's Cafe nearby, which is like the top excursion from Sandals Negril. And people go there, watch the cliff jumpers and then stay for the sunset. Another important element of your sandals vacation might be which sandals location in Jamaica is the most affordable. In general, the sandals in Jamaica are more affordable than the rest in the Caribbean, so that's really great. But within them, the most affordable is Sandals Ochi. They have the rates that start the lowest. But Sandals South Coast and Sandals No Grill also have affordable rooms. But what makes a big difference that is worth looking into are the current deals and promotions going on. Every week, Sandals picks seven different suites to put on sale that are an extra 7% off. And we'll have a link to those deals in the description. And if you do last minute deals, you buy three nights, you get the fourth one free, and you can combine those. So you could like spend four nights at one Sandals Resort in Jamaica and then four nights at another one. And so you're getting eight nights paying for six. Hey. So anyway, I, what I mean to say here is that while Sandals, Sandals Ochi is the lowest price, if you can get a good deal on one of the other ones, then it, that can make a big difference too. So feel free to look around at different deals before making your decision based solely on price. All right, so those are different categories, but we both have just slightly a bit of a favorite. Okay, but what you've all been waiting for is to know what is the top best sandals resort in Jamaica. And we'll start with Michelle's opinion. <laughs> My favorite overall is Sandals in the Grill. Number one, I love the water sports. We had such a fun time water tubing. I thought the resort was beautiful and quiet and kind of spread out. Um, we still had plenty of things to do, even though it felt quiet. The beach was beautiful. And of course the sunsets were stunning. So Sandals in the Grill is my favorite in Jamaica. And for me, once again, it's just slightly, but I would say Sandals Royal Caribbean, probably because food's so important to me, but really love that resort. I liked the layout, how it was on the beach, and I, the private island is just really cool because that's how people get to the Ovara bungalows, but anyone can go to the private island. It has its own pool with the swim-up bar. It has the jerk shack, which has really great jerk chicken and festival, uh, which is like a cornbread kind of thing. And then the Thai restaurant next door. And you can get to the private island by like a dragon-shaped boat. So <laughs> pretty cool. 
So we've heard my favorite resort and Dan's favorite resort. The internet's favorite resort is Sandals Royal Plantation. We think that this is because number one, all of the suites are butler suites. So everyone is getting that like white glove experience and the resort is quieter and more kind of more homey. And there's a more sense of a community there. So the people who are there really get to know the staff, the staff know them and come back every year. So I think people really have the best like emotional feeling about Sandals Royal Plantation. Yeah, we stayed there for a week and we were jet lagged for that first week. Mm -hmm. And we were just treated so well that like our butler knew where we were. So he'd bring us food on the beach. Even me, I would get out because like I was waking up at like five in the morning or four in the morning and I would leave the room and find a place on the deck when like the workers were arriving to work and they'd come ask me like, do you want some orange juice? Do you want a coffee or whatever? Super early in the morning. Yeah. It's just they knew who we were and they were looking out for us and it just made for a great experience. I think the only reason that it hasn't made our top list for the both of us is that it was literally our first Sandals Resort and we then went to go see like nine more. And so I think I'd have to go back to like put it back at the top spot, but we really did have a lovely experience there. Yeah, yeah. I think I, the only reason why I don't put it in my top spot is because it is a little too quiet. Mm. And if you want to go to Sandals Ochi, you have to take the, you have to transfer over there. That's fair. Um, but to me, I had the best beach experience at Sandals Royal Plantation. We got in the water the most. They had these really good like floaty things. We, we sat by the beach the most. So our time on the beach was best spent at Sandals Royal Plantation. Yeah, so really a great option. Yes. As we may have mentioned, there is one more brand new Sandals Resort going up in Jamaica in 2023. So we haven't been there yet, but uh, it's looking really exciting. All right, so opening in 2023 is Sandals Dunn River. And right now they have a grand opening special. So you get like resort credits to use while you're there if you book before they open. And they have some really cool suites. They have the Sky Pool Suites, which are like the second and third floor that actually have a pool as your balcony. So that's really cool. Yeah. They also have a new Rendezvous Suites that have like a sky deck. So it's like a two story Rendezvous Suite. So that'd be really cool to see. And you would also get free transfers to the other Sandals locations that are nearby. So it's a pretty cool opportunity to go to a brand new resort and check out some of the other spots nearby. And it's in Ocho Rios. So that's where all the excursions are. And there's a lot of restaurants that kind of repeat themselves at different Sandals resorts. But this Sandals is going to have a bunch of new concepts that will be completely new. Yeah, I can't wait to try those. That'll be exciting. Yeah. So that is our extremely comprehensive overview of which Sandals Resort in Jamaica is the best. We would love to hear if you agree with us or if you have any other questions about which ones are the best. Again, we have links to all of this in the description below this video by clicking those that does support our channel. So thank you so much. We hope you will like this video, subscribe to our channel. You can follow along with us on Instagram at Honeymoon Always, and we'll see you at the next stop.